If you have a tracheostomy tube, laryngectomy tube, or use a ventilator to breathe, there is a small device you should know about. It is called a heat and moisture exchanger, abbreviated as HME. These small devices are essential in keeping your airways moist, prevent mucus plugging, and prevent your airways from dust and air pollutants. Please join me this week as I discuss essential information you need to know about heat and moisture exchangers. The basic components of heat and moisture exchangers are foam and paper. These act as a condensation and absorption surface. The material is often impregnated with hygroscopic salts, such as calcium chloride, to enhance the water-retaining capacity. HMEs are worn to prevent moisture from escaping the airways. As a person breathes out, the exhaled air passes through the HME. The HME captures the moisture from the air. When a person breathes in, the air passes through the HME. The moisture retained in the HME hydrates the air as it enters the airways. Although HMEs are able to filter out large particles from the air, wearing an HME does not compensate for the loss of upper air filtration of smaller particles such as bacteria and viruses. The pores of the HME filter are larger than the diameter of the infectious particles. Wearing an HME will not protect a person's airways from viruses, bacteria, and fungal spores. An HME should be worn anytime the tracheostomy tube, laryngectomy tube, or ventilator are not connected to a humidifier. If you have a tracheostomy tube and do not use a ventilator to breathe, Always keep your tracheostomy tube covered with an HME. An HME will prevent dust, pollen, and other air pollutants from entering the airway. Moreover, it will assist in preventing the airway from drying out. This same advice applies for people who have a laryngectomy tube and are not connected to a humidifier. Always keep your laryngectomy tube covered with an HME. If you have a tracheostomy tube and use a ventilator to breathe, only use the HME when you are not connected to your humidifier. If you use non-invasive ventilation, such as CPAP and BiPAP, only use the HME when using the ventilator and the ventilator is not connected to a humidifier. An HME should not be worn if the person with a ventilator, tracheostomy tube, or laryngectomy tube is connected to a humidifier. Wearing an HME while running humidification will cause the HME to become saturated with moisture. The moist surface will attract bacteria and will create an ideal location for bacteria to grow. Heat and moisture exchangers come in various shapes and sizes. HMEs for tracheostomy tubes are usually a little bit larger than for laryngectomy patients. Air openings are usually at the front of the HME for people who use a ventilator. In people who do not use ventilators, some HME designs use crossbars to prevent clothing from blocking the air opening. If you do not use a ventilator to breathe, you will need to place your finger over the opening on the HME to speak. Usually, a rim on the HME helps to find the correct finger location for occlusion of the air opening. For people who do not use a ventilator, there are special HMEs designed to help patients with tracheostomies and laryngectomies speak without requiring finger occlusion. The device consists of a combination of HME and an automatic speaking valve. The valve closes automatically when exhaling air for speaking 
enabling the air to be diverted through the vocal cords or voice processes. It reopens automatically when exhalation decreases. Additionally, this HME enables easy removal in case of coughing. Some HMEs also have an adjustable cough relief valve. This helps release the air that is built up during coughing. If you have a tracheostomy and are not using a ventilator, the HME should be placed at the end of the tracheostomy tube. If you use a ventilator, the HME can be placed anywhere from the tracheostomy tube to the exhalation valve. Please do not place the HME beyond the exhalation valve because the moisture from the exhaled air will escape by the exhalation valve and will not be retained in the HME. Most HMEs are designed to be used for 24 hours. Once the HME has been used for 24 hours, the HME is to be discarded. For specific details about your HME, please ask your respiratory therapist or durable medical equipment company. HMEs are not designed to be cleaned. The HME is meant to be a one-time use item. However, if the HME becomes dirty or if you need to use the HME for more than one day, you can clean the HME. I place my HME inside a stainless steel bowl. I then add one drop of fragrance-free dish soap to the bowl. Then I add enough boiling water to cover the HME. I allow the HME to soak overnight. In the morning, I'll take out the HME and thoroughly rinse the HME in water. I then allow the HME to air dry before using it again. Some people are able to wear an HME all day and all night, they do not have any problems with their airways drying out. For me, running the ventilator without my humidifier is very hard on my body. My airways dry out quickly and my sputum becomes very thick and may end up blocking my tracheostomy tube. I have had some scary experiences in which my tracheostomy tube became completely blocked with sputum while using an HME. The sputum dried out and was extremely difficult to clear from my tracheostomy tube. For this reason, I try to use the humidifier as much as possible on my ventilator. An HME is a great device to use if using a humidifier is not possible. But I would suggest if using a humidifier is possible, please use the humidifier instead of using an HME. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.